Olafa Leho creates beautiful lamps designed to purify the air. Ironically, he rummages through rubbish bins and scours the pavements of Havana for the materials to make these lamps. 50 to 60 percent of my designs are made from recycled materials, wood that people throw away from door frames, broken window panes, carpenters left over wood. I recycle them and use them. Cubans say the absence of wholesale stores and scarce raw materials have forced them to get creative. More and more people have set up their own businesses in recent years, as the government tries to fix its ailing economy and cut a bloated state payroll. As a result, the number of self-employed Cubans hit half a million by the end of 2016. I began to weigh up the salary issue. I got more money from my crafts, my paintings and my lamps than from my profession, so I decided to take a break. With the average monthly salary of around $30, this entrepreneurial trend is paying off. Caridad Limonta mends clothes and uses discarded fabric to make bags and other crafts. We fix the clothes people bring in for mending. There are always bits left over, something from a leg or a neckline, and we reuse all the leftover material. While Limonta wishes it were easier to buy material, she doesn't want Cuba to adopt the quote, fast fashion, prevalent in other countries. She says repurposing waste makes Cuba unique. Jin Kyo, CGTN.